Okay, so then I'm gonna be looking at some scam software I found on the internet, and on the page I got it from looks like this. So this is obviously a scam. So um, I just want to see what it does. And we're currently running in a virtual machine, and I've actually gone and downloaded some malware. I'm gonna see if I can scan and find it. So pending scan. Um, nope. Okay, let's try. I mean, that's that's in the malcode database, so it really should work. But whatever. Um, even Windows came up with a message when I fucking um kicked on it. But anyway, I'm gonna go and you know Google Chrome gets really mad if you're trying to download these. Right? It even goes in there and I have to fucking go show all. So go even Google Chrome can detect this shit. And yet this um apparent antivirus thingy that's probably fake. Um, it can't. Right? Look, I can run these on my computer. Well, there let's create some fucking black screen. Oh, I already have that up there. Um, so I gotta see if it's gonna detect that. Nope. Okay. Um, let's try some more from here. You know, for something that's supposed to be an antivirus, I really would expect this to work. Um. Let's do a quote unquote scan again and see it's still not working so I'm gonna kick this button which probably does something really bad and that we don't want to do but this is a virtual machine so it doesn't matter <laughs> we can do whatever the hell it wants got random characters and shit and I'm just doing this to see what this will do if I actually have malware on the computer which I currently do and if this is not malware like that is very good. This is in the Malco database, and every single antivirus you see here, even Chrome is blocking this shit, okay? So, this here should really, if this is where a legit antivirus, it should be able to detect these, but it can't. And that's because it's a fake. It's a total fake! Alright, look, look, you see here, if I do like, if I do like quarantine, if, so even if I found, alright, a virus, it would, it would tell me to activate my copy of the program and shit and you know it costs fucking shit tons or whatever right and wants me to fucking pay them shit tons and I can like fucking write saying Donald Trump and then enter a fucking card number I'll just enter this one that has nothing on it um 4693 9601023 Eight eight seven seven. Do whatever the hell you hell you want with that card. It has absolutely nothing on it, and there's a completely um, useless prepaid card. Um, twelve seventeen. You know, and four fifteen. Yeah, I'm going to. All right now, now let's my address. Um, twelve. Um. 12 Washington, I don't know, Washington DC or something, the White House, yep, yeah. um, zip code, I'm just gonna enter a random thing, phone number, I'm just gonna enter random shit, my country is definitely the United States, obviously, I'm just gonna use Ukraine, processing and watch, it's gonna fucking say it's not gonna work, because that's not a real cow, well actually that cow is real, the thing is, is that card is actually real, that's a real card, it just has nothing on it, so they can, they can do whatever they want with it, I don't care. <laughs> right, you won't be able to get anything off that card. Um, I don't know, let's see, like, this processing bullshit. Yeah, unable to compete the purchase, yeah, whatever, that's probably because it was a fake card. But anyway, this is a complete 
I think this is a complete scam, mainly because I've got malware that lots of stuff knows about, heck, even Google Chrome knows about the shit. Alright, and, um, and as the saying, no threats found. And I can continue to download from here, alright, all, he always fucking malware. I could download every single thing in this thing if I wanted. Alright, and it would still say that there's no viruses because it doesn't fucking do anything. Because it's fake. Oh, okay, now I've got some random ass game installed on my fucking system because of all the shit I've been running. <laughs> yeah, this one looks legit as well, looks legit as hell. Yeah, next, 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 totally install. So all of this fucking malware right here, and it's still saying it's useless. Still saying everything's fine. Which is funny. I'm not gonna run it, I'm just gonna. Oh, look at my fucking desktop. Look what's happened to my fucking desktop. Um. Random shit in here, um. And I bet you, like. And, like, this scan gab thingy, it just. It just doesn't work. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. So, yeah, this is a, um. Definitely a fake program. Um. As to how to remove it, most of these things is just as simple as opening file location, and then this is generally how you remove any sort of uh, thing. I can't even have task manager because I've replaced it with another program, which might be a problem. If I can find a way to close this, yes I can, okay. Um, just close it and then delete all these files and... Okay, and stop whatever services that it's using as well, I guess. Um, for the most part, if you delete its main exe, it won't be able to do much. I'd say try and delete this if you can. Um, delete stuff that will make it work. Put into a Unix CD if you have to.